dish. You can eat that with crackers, you can just eat it plain, you can put it on the rice. And it's a nice little meal with, you know. And it was just crazy to me. I'm like, that's the only thing I can think of. That's the only thing different today from. Hi, welcome to my son. My name is Michelle. You'll probably hear or even see my husband Richard from Bentley's Backwoods Bushcraft and Zen Shin Academy <laughs> in the background. Um, this is a Walmart haul. Uh, we went, it's funny because the thing we went for, I totally forgot to even go look at. But we got to go back later because I also have another prescription. Oy vey. It's like they never stop now. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to caveat this before I even start with, if you'll remember in the other Walmart haul, I said I wanted to do some more stocking up. And it's not that I'm buying like a case of this or a case of that, but it's just more than what we have. That's all I care about. I want to keep adding to what we have. We had some extra money come in, so I'm adding again to our stuff. That's not saying that that's the only thing I spent money on because it's not. We had a little bit of fun today. But we did buy some extra stuff for the pantry. So one of the things we bought is another bag of the chicken that we like. Um, just because, you know, it's more meat. So there's that. We also grabbed three more cans of the petite diced tomatoes. We did get these in the, what does it say, no salt added version. Unfortunately, I forgot to grab that with the black beans. <laughs> oh, the black beans are normal, but from what I understand, if I rinse them, that will help get rid of a lot of the sodium. So I will make sure to do that. But we grabbed two more cans of black beans. And I remembered to grab two cans of tomato juice this time. I wanted to get it. It's the last time we went shopping and I completely forgot. So I grabbed two. They did not have this in a lower sodium version. And to be honest with you, um, the lower sodium was only like 2% lower anyway. So I'm not going to stress over 2%. I'd rather have the product than not have it. I also grabbed, now this is funny you guys. So I grabbed a four pack of tuna again and I told you guys the last time I bought tuna I prefer that it only be the star kissed brand because the generic brand is crap um but here's here's what's funny is so I was pricing them right I was like well in a pinch you know at least we'd have some kind of some sort of protein with the tuna and if I can save a dollar fifty then I'll save a dollar fifty this was cheaper than the generic than the great value brand this was like significantly cheaper wasn't it like 87 cents cheaper yeah, or something was, like that yeah. like it was a big difference so we went with the the good stuff of course um we also decided to grab a box of ramen noodle hubby got the shrimp you know these are like shelf life forever <laughs> like forever and yes i know i know guys Ugh. but one, this is not a normal thing for me to eat. And when I'm thinking, like, you know, shit has hit the fan, life has gone upside down, and we are back into this process we were in during the CVID when the Democrats shut everything down and we were no longer getting stuff that we normally do. This is why I'm stocking up. I just have this ugh feeling that they are not done effing with us. So, since I don't trust them, I will prepare. Um, we also grabbed another bag, how much is this way? 32 ounces, aka 2 pounds of rice. Um, you know, you can add this to anything. It's a great uh, filler. And I did grab some more beans. These are the pinto beans. Just, again, just to have it. Oh, this was uh, also a 2 pound, also a 2 pound bag for those. Going along with the tuna, I have never seen these. Well, I take that back. I've seen this one, but I've never seen this one before. So I grabbed one pouch of the premium chicken salad. 
and savory dressing, and one pouch of the pulled pork and barbecue sauce. I'm pretty sure I'm going to start grabbing at least two or three of these every time we shop um, and adding it to the stash. You can eat that with crackers. You can just eat it plain. You can put it on the rice. And it's a nice little meal without, you know, you don't have to worry about it expiring super soon. Let's see. And honestly, guys, expiration dates are suggestions. Just saying. Um, this is July of 26. So, yeah. It's going to be fine for a while. Again, keeping with the stocking up theme, we grabbed three packs of the thin spaghetti. Uh, this is the 16 ounce, so this is three pounds of spaghetti. I don't remember how much we bought at the beginning of the month, but that'll help keep us covered for a while. Baby, can you get that chicken in the freezer, please? We also picked up another huge box of the elbow macaroni, the three pound size. Again, guys, I just... I just desperately feel like we need to have more. It's crazy. We also grabbed two more boxes of the lower sodium, reduced sodium chicken broth. Again, you can use if the water is bad, if something's gone wrong. Well, which, speaking of, I think we're going to start buying cases of water and stocking up on those too. Just didn't do it today. Um, but, uh, you know, you can cook with this. You don't have to have water in case something's wrong with the water or you're trying to go sparingly on the water. Uh, it's, you know, just a, a way to help flavor your food and cook a little bit. Just saying. Okay. It makes stone soup a lot tastier. It does. Um, we also, we just grabbed a general sized bottle of this. There's like glue all over it. What the heck? Um, zesty Italian dressing, mainly because we made some, um, yeah, not too bad on sodium. We made some uh, tomato, cucumber, onion salad the other night, and I thought we still had some of this, and we were out. Honestly, though, I think I liked the vinegar, sugar, yeah, and pepper fine. better yeah. than this anyway. Okay. So, But this will be good to just, again, stick it in the stockpile back there, have it, be ready. Um... Next week is our week to take care of Baby B again, so uh, we will have this. Whatever he doesn't drink that week, I will divvy up and put in the freezer so it doesn't go bad in between. Because once you open it, you don't have very long to use it before it does go nasty. And I... no, one more. Hold on. Ugh. Two more food items, guys. I was in the mood for some graham crackers. It's just a nice sweet treat every now and then. It's not too bad on the sodium, so, and I, I don't do too many. Plus, I like to eat them with um, my applesauce. Baby, can you start putting all this stuff over there by the freezer, please? Um, I also grabbed, so, it's a little bit of a story here. Um, Saturday is my daddy's birthday. Um, for those of you that are new and may not know, I recently lost my dad. He died in February. And um, Saturday we're going to go wish him happy birthday. We actually bought a balloon at the Dollar Tree for him, and I forgot to show it in the Dollar Tree Hall. Uh, maybe Hubs can hand it. Can you just set it on the floor in front, because I'm going to pull all that stuff out and reorganize it all anyway. So just set it over there by the freezer, or on the, well, by the freezer. Don't sit on the here freezer. You go. So, here's the balloon that we got in the other day from Dollar Tree that we'll take to him on Saturday, and I will tie it to his um, headstone, uh, but I was going to make peanut butter cookies, but we've kind of got a lot going on, and I don't want to bake tomorrow, so I bought this other kind. I know he and I both like these. It's the fudge-covered peanut butter-filled cookies. Oh, I love these. These are, to me, better than the ones that you get from the Girl Scouts, and I'm not even joking, so, and they're, like, way less expensive, just saying, way less. All right, so these next few items are completely not food. It was completely splurge. Um, but, you know, sometimes I did tell... Well, this isn't a splurge. This was kind of a... Ooh, that'd be convenient. You're awesome, my love. Thank You're you awesome. so much. Um, I'm making some crafts for somebody to sell uh, to help that person out a little bit. And because I like to make them. So I bought some tags. I don't know. I'm sure she probably has some. But I saw them and I thought, hey, that would be nice. And I don't have to worry about stickers falling off. I can just tie them on. So I thought that would be nice and easier. Um, 
Mainly I'm sticking to the neutral colors in the fall stuff that I'm doing, but I did want to, I did see this and it was $2.98. Nicer than the Dollar Tree ones by, sh by, by sure, <laughs> by, by sure, leaps by leaps and bounds and for sure. Um, so I grabbed it. It does have like some berries on it and you know, you know, the, the fall stuff. I wish they had the garland with the neutral colors, the whites, the blues, the greens, right? The light greens. But they don't. Oh, I forgot about this. So, okay. Strange story. Yeah. Here, what happened was... What happened so, was... For some reason, I had a craving for McDonald's. I don't know. Okay? Sometimes it just happens. Crazy, crazy. Well, we went and got McDonald's. I got a cheeseburger. Nothing big and super bad. You know, I mean, bad enough. But anyway, and we both... He got a Coke. I got a Diet Coke. I got fries. No salt. And, you know, we ate our food and then we went into Walmart to shop. And I'm on the makeup aisle and I'm just like getting medicine head. Do you guys know what I mean? Like that woozy uh, feeling. And then we headed over to the card aisle because we had to pick out a card, which is in my bag. Um, because we forgot to get it the other day. <laughs> anyway, um, so Richard's like, yeah, I'm kind of feeling the same way. I'm like, I wonder if it was that food, like the salt from the food or something in that drink. Because neither one of us even drank this much of our pop, by the way. I got, like I said, I got the Diet Coke and he got a Coke. Both of our cups had about this much gone and we just threw those away. But we grabbed a Gatorade. It seemed to help. I don't know. I mean, because we literally don't use the salt. No. I mean, if it comes in the food, but even at that. I've been trying to buy lower sodium. We've been cooking stuff. We've been cooking stuff without using salt. You know. And it was just crazy to me. I'm like, that's the only thing I can think of. That's the only thing different today from, you know, before was the stupid McDonald's. <laughs> anyway. So we got a Gatorade, and yes, we started drinking it before we paid for it. That is not a crime, FYI, just for anybody that wants to know. There was no intent to deprive. We intended to pay for it, and we did. Um, but anyway, so I don't know if anybody has any thoughts on what was going Because after we drank it, a few minutes later, we are both like, hey, okay, now I feel more like me again. It was just weird. Hubby found uh, this shocker Blu-ray set. Um, and he kind of begged, and I said, oh, okay, because, you know, I'm just kidding. He didn't have to beg. Uh, he got the Star Trek Picard, the final season. There it is. Like, I don't know. Other than, I think Picard is cool as tar. Richard doesn't like him. I don't know why he watches it, then, if you don't even like him. It's part of the I series. I don't get it, but okay. Um, we series. also... <laughs> We stood there forever and smelled every one of the fall seasonal it's, soaps it, that they have first out. First of all, let me clarify. It's not that I don't like him. James Tiberius Kirk is the greatest of all captains, and Picard's a pussy. Richard's, Richard's a pussy. He's just afraid to admit it. <laughs> okay, so anyway, we stood there, or, well, he stood there, I sat there, and smelled all of the soaps, and these were the two that we uh, decided were okay. Hubby, you liked the Harvest one, right? Yes, yes, yes. So Hubby liked the Harvest one the best. It says that it's apple scent. I don't smell apple so much as like apple pie, like the spice of it. Well, uh, yeah. So it's not just an apple scent, but it is a very nice scent. I like it. I like it like a lot. And then I liked the pumpkin scent. And look at that face on that little guy. How <laughs> stinking cute is he? So, oh gosh. Now I'm kind of wishing I got two. These are going to sell quick, you guys. They were like a $1.24 a piece. These are going to sell quick. Get them if you want them. Um, you know, boring stuff. I needed some more primer, so I bought some primer. Got that done because I didn't have it the other day. I'm having a devil of a time finding two things. I need some concealer and some, uh, what's that stuff called? Moisturizer. Hasn't happened yet. Anyway, I also... Well, I shouldn't say I. Hubby found this, and we decided it had to come home with us. It is this huge mat. I seriously want to change the W to B, but okay. 
<laughs> Hubby is super stoked to put that at our front door. Woo! At first he said at our patio. I said, no, no, no. Patio's already done. I got my Mickey fall rug out there. It ain't changing. So anyway, guys, that is this Walmart haul. Um, I know there's been a lot of haul videos lately, and there might still be a couple of more, just for the record. But I'm on the hunt for a few things specifically. I haven't found them yet. Uh, Hubby actually went to, ran into four different Dollar Generals for me today looking for a specific piece of artwork that none of our Dollar Trees seem to have yet. Now granted, he only hit half of them because we have like literally 12 or 13 Dollar Generals in Kokomo. But, um, you know, I said I'm not going to make you keep running into these stores. I was done. Like I couldn't do any more. So anyway, um, hopefully we can find that pretty soon because I think it's going to be perfect on that wall over there. Anyway, long story short, short story long. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Big hugs. Much love. Bye.